What up everyone? Bright and early here in Los Angeles. Before we go ahead and kick off this video, I just wanna let you guys know that this Sunday, February 25th at 11 a.m., the details are down below in the description in terms of like where to pull up, where to meet, but Hollywood Reservoir, here in Los Angeles, this Sunday, February 25th at 11 a.m., we are doing our third consecutive Run Club meetup, guys. You guys know the first one went crazy, second one went insane, so I don't even know what this one's gonna be like. We got all kinds of goodies that I'm be handing out. We got a sponsor this time, so they're gonna be passing out all kinds of coconut water and shit like that, so it's gonna be a super dope vibe. This time, I'm actually gonna get someone to ride a bike and rock a speaker, you know what I'm saying? So we like got some tunes and shit, and we just, you know, vibe all out together and shit like that. I'm super pumped for this Sunday. I hope you guys can all make it. I will see you there. Once again, Sunday, February 25th, 11 a.m. at the Hollywood Reservoir. Make sure you guys get there early if you want to secure decent parking, okay? But yeah, I will see you guys there. So with no further ado, let's go ahead and get right into this video. That was a good class. Last yoga class I did, like, kind of left a bad taste in my mouth. So I feel like I didn't go back for like, you know, almost two weeks because of it. Which doesn't necessarily make it right. Woke up today and fucking saw it was raining. So I was like, all right, fuck it. I thought I had a workout session with Julian, but then he called me. He was like, oh, yo, I thought it was only, you know, two days this week, not three. So I was like, all right, whatever, I'll do a yoga class. In all honesty, I've been like avoiding kind of going to yoga, like I said, because the last time that I did a class, it just wasn't that proper. It's amazing, man. Like every time I do a, a, a good yoga class, you gotta find a good teacher, which I know can be difficult and is a struggle, but I highly recommend for people who are training a lot, you know, whether you're training high performance, training for a marathon, you know, you do a lot of physical activity that causes a lot of, you know, stress on the body, whether it be find soreness or tightness. I really recommend doing a yin yang class. Reason being because, you know, I don't really go to yoga to trying to be really like a yogi. You know what I'm saying? Kind of naturally, I feel like I will just be over the years because I just consistently go. The yin yang classes are really good because it starts with the first half of the class being kind of like faster paced and it's more challenging. And then the second half is all just holding the poses for a long time. Someone like myself who, you know, builds up a lot of tightness, especially in my hamstrings, my hips, my low back, holding the poses for a long time can really help decompress and alleviate some pain or tension that you might be carrying in the body. So highly recommend that you guys pick up a yin yang class, but check it out. Fully fucking raining today. Basically for the next, I think, four to five days, we have a storm here. But anyways, it's just gonna be a grind day at work. All right guys, we're actually gonna test out our first scents for our first Trinity candles. What up, bro? How are you? Are you good? Yeah. All right, got a bunch of little samples laid out here. These would be individualized, finalized product, or we're taking small bits and pieces and you. This is the first step. So it might okay. be something that you'd be like, okay, we're good to go. Yeah. Or you can, I need a can, little bit more can, of this or yeah, that. Yeah, right. We can make. This is just the first. Step. But these are all ready to go fragrances. If you like any of them, they're good okay. to go. Okay. But we can we can tweak them. Okay. Of course. Okay. Mm. Mm, smells good, bro. <laughs> <laughs> That's fire. So far, one is my favorite. Two is like a toned down version, a little bit sweeter than one, but I- Yeah, than those. Yeah, one so far, I feel like it's like the most like wow factor. Trinity Home Goods on the motherfucking way, people. See, I'm fairly new, obviously. I'm actually, I'm very new in developing scents when it comes to candles and fragrances and whatnot. But obviously, you know, your boy has been into candles and colognes and incense and all different types of stuff relating to fragrances fragrances for a while. This is the first time that I've obviously ever designed my own and something that's really important to me with this is making sure that it's not 
just too strong. Like I don't want to sell you guys or to offer a candle that has just too strong of like a, a perfumey smell. I want it to have some sandalwood, some oud, a little bit of muskiness to it, but I still want it to be citrusy and light and fresh. I hate when fragrances are pulled too far towards one direction, you know? We gotta have a solid foundational balance to it. You know what I'm saying? And especially, you know, your boy, having a background in food, you can't have good taste without a good sense of smell. Just know your boy is coming through with some home goods, specifically when we're talking about a candle. Just trust me when I tell you, I'm not delivering you guys no like BS bullshit too. The same guy that I have developing my candles, he does tons of work for lots of high-end brands and stuff like that. This isn't gonna be like some fucking Lowe's or Marshall's cheap ass candle that you find in like fucking aisle six. Aesop Lalabo level type fucking shit. So yeah, we're in the preliminary stages right now. Next time around, I'm gonna have an actual physical sample of the candle and I'm gonna burn it. So I'll be able to give you guys a better update on that. Other than that, check it out. Your boy is rocking the nerd blue sweats which by the time you guys see this video, for sure they will have already been out. I'm assuming that they have sold out because I didn't stock too, too many and there's been a high demand of them and a lot of you know feedback about these in the comments and the replies and whatnot. Just know that I will be restocking these pants in this color and most likely the black and probably gonna offer some other colors because these pants are fucking incredible, bro. I'm super picky when it comes to sweats. Is the crotch too high? Is the waist too loose? Are the trimmings on the bottom proper? Are are they too long? Are this the inseam too fucking snug? Are they nice and wide in the right areas? Bro, trust me, your boy basically lives in sweats here in LA. If there's anything I'm taking my time on, it's dialing in these sweats. If you guys head to the website and you're not sure about like how certain products fit or how they feel, all the products on Trinity should have customer reviews. So click the link down below in the description if you wanna shop Trinity or even if you just wanna go look at some customer feedback, you're more than welcome to do so. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, on with the rest of the vid. I don't know what we're doing next. Maz, sauce me up a little bit. Maybe fire me up a little fucking B-roll. Just sauce me up with something here, bro. I need you to sauce me up here, bro. <laughs> Alright guys, so I just got to work here, rainy LA day. I'm gonna share with you guys the rain drip. We got a Junya Watanabe North Face Club, caught this jacket in Tokyo. We got the real tree fleece pants, got some Solomon kick skis. Check it out, boy drip though. So today, I'm just shooting some more e-com ad stuff with Turan. Also shooting some new era e-com stuff and just like a bunch of, you know, day-to-day -day shit. All right guys, we're going for a 15 mile run today. Not gonna lie, mentally, fucking feel like shit today. It's been in my head yesterday. I just had an off day and was just like, eating like shit kind of, I don't know, I just didn't have a great prep day. And I told myself I was going to, and I didn't. So we're suffering the consequences because of that. Slept in, it's late today. I've just been trying to hydrate, flush out my system from all the shit that I ate yesterday. I had a late night of poker playing with the boys. We gotta do 15 one way or another. <sighs> I'll see you guys on the run. Last mile, all uphill. We did it. 15 miles, baby. Two more than a half marathon. Ah. Whew. I am pleasantly surprised with that result because I felt like shit the first half. I did not feel light on my toes at all. 7.30 was the average mile time. 7.30, I mean, to be honest, that's not bad at all and I felt slow. Definitely making good progress. I don't know why I'm mentally, maybe if it's the weather or what it is, I just, been in my head about shit lately. Oh my god, let's shower up. That was a fucking run and a half, baby. Let's go. I recently ordered this crock pot online just to make stews and stuff because when I'm done logging these runs, the last thing that I want to do is just like cook for myself. I feel like I've just been really tired of that lately. I'm just like physically tired. So I thought to myself, I'm like, all right, why not make a big thing of stew, keep it in the fridge, heat it up, put it over some rice, you know, super hearty, healthy, full of nutrients and all kinds of different flavors and whatnot. So I'm like, yo, why don't we do some fucking stew, bruh? We're firing up a little bit of stew today. We're gonna go ahead and break everything down. We're gonna go ahead and season the meat. We're gonna lightly pan sear it.
just cover this up. Thoroughly enjoyed that beef stew, braised beef, whatever you want to call it. But I'm fucking cooked. Okay, I'm kind of on this like cusp right now of like giving your body the right amount of rest and stuff But then also like you can kind of like if you do certain things like do the yoga and the stretching And you do all the proper like self-care the nutrition is right and you're getting enough sleep Which is actually the hardest one of them all that you can kind of like reset your baseline Fast motherfucking forward normally I wouldn't even run tonight I shouldn't maybe run because I'm just fatigued and exhausted, but I feel like I can just squeeze it out, bro. I had, a, I had a strong day at work today, got a lot of shit done. So I'm like, you know what, let's just finish it strong. You know, so I hope anyone watching this right now uses this as a little bit of motivation to just fucking get some shit done because your boy is absolutely fucking cooked. But I'm pulling up to Undefeated right now. We gotta get some speed work in. Linking up with my boy Austin. We wanna go smash some speed work treadmill type of shit right now. So Undefeated. You already know, let's go. All right, so for today's speed workout, guys, we got a one mile warm up, followed by two 400s, both of those being at a sub 130, resting for one minute and 30 seconds between sets. Then we're moving on into our 800s. We got six of those, all of those being at a sub 330, and between each of those, we're resting for three minutes and 30 seconds. And then after that, we got a one mile cool down. It's the last one, baby. Come on now. Show them that we really do this, bro. Let's go. Show them that we do this. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let's go. Guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. So for the next upcoming episode, I have my boys pulling up in town and you know obviously when Tarek and Zach are in town it's always a good time. We're gonna be heading out to Big Bear, we're gonna be doing some snowboarding, we're even trying to rent some dirt bikes and do some dirt biking shit but, but yeah this time around myself and Kai are really trying to make an effort to do a lot more group activities. So obviously with that being said I'm gonna try to vlog as much of it as I can. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys please can give your boy a thumbs up. Make sure you hit that sub button. Drop a comment in the section down below. We already know what's going on. But anyways, guys, I'll see you next episode. Peace.